Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the characteristics of a DC generator, DC series generator. We know that in DC generator there are majorly two types available, one is self excited generator, separately excited DC generator. Separately excited means the field is excited separately. Self excited means field is excited in the generator itself. Again there are two, three types available, sun generator, series generator and compound generator. How the armature and field, this is armature as a field, how the armature and field are connected accordingly it is classified. If it is series generator mean this armature and field are connected in series, right. This armature is nothing but rotating part, the coils are available. This is a field, the stationary part, the magnetic field is created in the stationary part. So, both are connected in series, that is why it is called a series generator. Now we will see the characteristics, so that there are three different characteristics available, no load characteristics, external characteristics and internal characteristics. But in series generator, it is always started with the load, so there is no no load characteristics available, only directly it is the external characteristics is available. Now we will see the diagram, so this is a generator available, the rotating part, this is nothing but a brush, so field coil is available all are connected in series in order to control the current flowing through the armature the resistor is available by adjusting that we can control the flow of current this is the load terminal load terminal right this v is the load voltage so inside the generator the current is generated this is called armature current so that is flowing through the series field winding so isc that are same current is flowing through the load also that is il so, IA equal to ISC equal to IL because all are connected in series, armature, field, load, all are connected in series. So, the armature current is equal to series field current as well as load current. First, we will see the external characteristics that is V versus IL, this external, internal means inside the generator, external means load side. The load side, terminal voltage versus load, load current. V versus IL, right? Now we will see the description. Only when the load increases, the load current IL also increases. While increasing the load, the load current will increase. So, IA equal to IL equal to ISE. So, if ISE increases, all will, all the, all the current will increase. As the current through the series field winding, ISE increases, the flux increases right because all currents are equal so when the load is increases the load current will increase so that isc current also increases if isc current current flowing through the seed is will increases mean flux also increases so the flux is directly proportional to the emf so the emf also increases the induced emf also increases right so when the load increases load current will increase series field current will increase series field current increase mean flux will increase so that EMF also increases. So, there is a directly proportional. So, when the load current increases, the V also increases, right? Is uh, after saturated it slowly decrease, right? So, it is both are linear, almost linear. When the load increases, the voltage also increases. EMF induced EMF also increases so that the current, the voltage available outside the res can, re out, uh, voltage available at the load also increases. So, we get the rising characteristics, rising characteristics means when the load current increases, the voltage increases, rising characteristics. Decrease in voltage due to the armature reaction drop is negligible as compared to increase in EMF, right. Armature reaction drop is negligible, it is very slow because it is rising characteristics. Now, we will go to the internal characteristics, the EMF induced inside the generator. So, this is the external internal characteristics. So, external characteristics. So, it is obtained by adding IA into RA plus RSC drop to the external characteristics, right? The resistant drop, the armature resistant drop, right? The EMF induced inside armature resistance is drop, balance will be available outside, right? So, this is the external characteristics, what we discussed earlier. If we add the armature resistant drop because here armature as well as field are connected in series so we need to add both ia ra 
if it is sun generator only ia ra will be available because of series it is ia ra plus rsc both are connected in series right so this is nothing but internal characteristics now we'll go now we'll say, see in another direction so this is the voltage induced inside the generator right voltage induced induced inside the generator thereafter some drop is available inside the generator armature resistant and field resistant drop so due to that some voltage is reduced this reduced voltage is available at the output side external characteristics right now we'll go to the compound generator so the compound generator means the series field and sun field both are available series field as well as sun field both are available if series field and sun field are added together means is called a cumulative compound generator if both are oppose each other means differential compound generator right so it is divided into two parts either the both the field will be added then or both the field will be oppose each other right so under that so if the both the fields are oppose each other mean this characteristics drawn between the load terminal voltage and load current is keep on decreasing that is already we discussed due to armature reaction drop and armature resistant drop as well as this is a differential compound the series field and sun field are opposing each other so there is a drop in the voltage right when the load current increases there is a drop in the voltage so this last curve this curve refers the differential compound generator that why it is dropping first one is due to differential the fields are opposing each other apart from that we have armature resistant drop as well as armature reaction drop is available these three curve refers the cumulative compound generator cumulative compound generator means series field and sun field are added together again there are three types available over compound we will see what is mean by over compound so this is the no load emf over compound means the voltage available above that above the no load emf under compound means it is available below the no load emf flat compound means it is almost near to the no load emf right so there are three types either over compound or flat compound or under compound we will see what is mean by these three types so cumulative generator means if series field add sun field this is called a cumulative compound generator in that first type is the over compound rated voltage at generator is greater than the no load voltage right the no load voltage the greater voltage is greater than the no load voltage that's why it is called a over compound under compound means rated voltage is less than the no load voltage right under compound if it is flat component means both are equal rated voltage is equal to the rated no voltage rated no load voltage right based on that is classified into three then we we'll see the differential compound if series field oppose sun field it is called a differential compound generator so in this video we discuss about the characteristics of series generator as well as compound generator right Ex internal characteristics as well as external characteristics in case of compound generator we discuss differential compound and cumulative compound again there are three types over compound under compound and flat compound this subscribe the channel for more videos soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box thank you